Okay, so uh, first of all, I'll just note that I'm using Ubuntu Linux for this. Uh, you'll probably be using Windows, but uh, everything will be pretty much the same. Maybe some of the shortcuts uh, might be platform dependent, but they should be pretty much the same. Okay, so uh, with this program, you can make these sort of planar section models like this dinosaur here. Uh, so to start a new plane sketch, you go to File, uh, New Plane Sketch. So your first of your planes is always drawn um, frontal parallel. So you're going to sketch the boundary contour of the planar section. So I'll just do that right here. Just a little jelly bean shape as an example. Um, okay, so that's the first one. So uh, basic view manipulation is uh, once the first section is drawn, if you left click and drag anywhere off that section, you'll initiate a rotation of, of the view. So you can actually see we've drawn this uh, thick section has some thickness to it. Uh, in addition to rotation, you can translate the view by holding shift, doing the left mouse button drag, and zoom holding control, left mouse button drag. And that's off the model to initiate that. Okay, so uh, one of the uh, features of this program is sort of this uh, fluid uh, motion you can use to add planar sections. So this is a four-step process. It involves first adding a slit, which is a line of intersection with a new plane. So that new plane is going to be orthogonal to the existing section. So since we're adding on to this section, we're going to define that line of intersection. And once we reach the extent of the slit, so we start the slit on the inside, and then we reach the extent, it actually will do this controlled view rotation and translation. And that view will be orthogonal to the, uh, the original planar section that we're drawing it on. Uh, so the third step in this process is there's this dead zone. And when we leave this dead zone, that's when the fourth step starts, which is actually drawing the section contour. So I tend to draw these like moose antlers or something. That'll be our shape, sure. And when we release, then that sort of shape gets added to the model. Uh, so to, uh, I'm just going to select that and delete it again and then show that once more. You can actually play with the amount of time the rotation takes and the actual angle of rotation. Um, someone pointed out that maybe having an angle where it wasn't quite 90 degrees with the existing plane might be ideal and that it preserves context. See here we can see, we can kind of not quite see the, uh, the planar section looking like a line. We actually get to see the actual shape of it. So we can draw again. Another thing to note is if we draw principally on one side of the slit, it will actually um, uh, detect this and actually you know, locally symmetrize the shape you drew across that slit line. So as you can see, we've got this um, sort of symmetric looking shape on that line. This feature actually can be disabled if you go to the edit menu and then uncheck the local symmetry. So I'll just do that now just to show you. So I'll delete that and that. I'm going to put these back to the default of 1.5 seconds and 90 degrees. And so if I draw, you know, some sort of shape like this that, you know, doesn't actually, you know, jump across. So if you're having an issue with the, the, the symmetry automatically happening, you can disable that in this edit local symmetry. Uh, okay. So, um, right. So more on the view. Uh, there are various um, predefined views. These are accessible through the view uh, view option in the menu bar here. So there's four isometric views. Uh, there's X view, Y view, Z view, and A. And these are all on these buttons on the side here. It's X, Y, Z. And then there's also, uh, these are also bound to the keys on the keyboard. One, two, three, four, Q, W, E, and then A. So A is like when you have a section selected. So you can select sections using the right button. Hit A, and then you'll view that selected plane sort of face on, frontal parallel, and it'll be centered in the uh, in the viewport. Okay, so yeah, selection is a right mouse button, and then a left click drag is actually again to start creating new planar sections.